I wonder just how low American marketers would go to help us to get a completely ridiculous product to your shopping mall. What product did we invent? A nationwide chain of fast food restaurants that serves ground rabbit meat, bunny burgers. <laughs> For this prank, we sent field correspondent Joe Queen and undercover deep into corporate America. Oh yeah, and by the way, don't worry, not one single bunny rabbit was harmed during the filming of this prank. <laughs> To make our fake company look legit, we designed official Bunny Burger stationery, rented a phone line, Thank you for calling Bunny Burgers. No one and threw together a nifty looking 24 page business plan. Hi, this is Bob Jansen. I'm the president of Bunny Burgers, which is. We called some of America's top public relations people to see if they wanted to represent Bunny Burgers. Public relations is the business of creating just the right image for a product. I'm calling you from just off Lanai, which is an isolated island in Hawaii, as you know. The meeting place? A lavish, credibility-boosting suite at the New York Ritz-Carlton Hotel. All in all, we convinced three PR executives to meet with us. Remember, these pros think their companies stand to make hundreds of thousands of dollars if they land the Bunny Burger account. Here's Joe in disguise as businessman Bob Jansen. Here's our field producer playing a Bunny Burgers exec. And here's the bait, an actor we hired to play the Japanese billionaire behind Bunny Burgers. We didn't have to hide our camera. Hey, you know, Japanese, they videotape everything. Obviously, it's a, it's a fascinating product, and the public relations potential is enormous. It's fascinating because it's new and it's different, and Americans like novel Mm. kinds of products. Mm. My first instinct is, you know, how are, how are the people going to be dressed behind the counter? The natural is ears, obviously. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Natural yeah. I mean, what are you using in your bunny burger? We're not using, like, bunny stretcher or anything like that. I mean, it's real no, no. bunny. It's real bunny. It's, it's 100%. <laughs> yeah. You get a big jackrabbit out in the wild. But, I mean, that's one of the reasons we don't have jackrabbits, because, for one thing, you know, you see the ear, you pay, you pay for a rabbit by the pound. You see the size of the ears on a jackrabbit. You're paying for, I don't know, two and a half extra pounds of uh, ear meat. Right. <laughs> that's what we're, you know, that's what people are going to be. I, ah, that's great. That's fun. That is funny. Will this be the real roll? It'll probably be a whole grain roll. So your message is nutrition. Yeah, nutrition in bunnies. You know, we're not running away. We're not running away from the bunny image. I mean, here I'll play it. I'll play our tape. We have a jingle. We have a jingle, uh -huh. and uh, we're you know, it's bunnies basically. We're Ooh, yummy, yummy, got bunny in my tummy. It's the bunny burger taste sensation. Honey, kind of like chicken, kind of like roast beef. Pledge allegiance to the bunny burger. Uh, has this been test marketing? Test marketing, you know, focus groups. That's when American businesses lock a group of average consumers in a room and get their gut reactions to new products. Even something as bogus as a fast food made out of rabbits. A bunch of civilians are paid a small fee to be honest. Let's see if they like bunny burgers as much as our marketing pros said they would. Oh, no. She's going to try it. They think they're eating bunny. What we actually served was a mixture of hamburger and ground turkey, topped with yummy mayonnaise and applesauce. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. No, you know what it is? I'll tell you. It's the thought of what it is. I can't eat it. They love it in France. Come on and give it a chance. Bunny Burger. So the public relations professionals thought Bunny Burgers was a really great, well, pretty good idea. But the focus group hated it. So to put Bunny Burgers to the ultimate test, we pulled out all the stops. We rented a store at a real mall, hired employees, and asked the American public to chow down on hot bunny. <laughs> Take it and eat it. Yeah. No money. <laughs> uh. But you do eat it. Believe me, you'll be surprised. And look at the cute box. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa! Isn't that good? Isn't that cute? Look at that. Ah! Isn't that wild? Whoa! Look at this. Ah! Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's a pet. That's not a, something to eat. Well, you're kidding. No, we're not kidding. You're not kidding. No, not at all. There's going to be a chain of these all across the country. Why? 
putting the live animal there, I think, is going to be a How detriment. about just dead hanging? Dead hanging. No, I think maybe just having pictures of bunnies pictures around. Pictures of cute bunnies jumping. Right, right. That, right. That, that, that would do it. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's delicious. Take a bite. Take a taste. Kinda like chicken, kinda like roast beef. It's the bunny burger taste sensation. They love it in France. Come on and give it a chance. Bunny burger. Nasty. Really? Yeah, it's really nasty. Tastes like liver. Tastes like chicken. Chicken and veal. Chicken. Tastes like liver. Tastes like reindeer meat. Tastes like liver. A veal of some kind. It's not moist. It's not moist. Okay, make a note. Yeah. Who dreamed up this name? This name was uh, many people. It was a corporate uh, you know, well, powwow they I had. I think that the person who dreamed up this name has picked the worst possible name really? to, to, to All right, good. We want real honest opinions. Go right. ahead. It's like, it's like trying to sell Bambi burgers, you know? People think that this little bunny here, yeah. you're going to take him and grind him up and put them in that thing. They're not ground, they're, they're, well, whatever. they're this is the sauteed. Idea. I mean, you're gonna go to California. They're gonna go crazy for this in California. <laughs> this will, uh, I think this will, well, you know why? They have a rabbit problem in California. Yeah, that's true. This is like killing the Easter rabbit. I like killing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You don't do this. Americans love anything that's chic. Are you at top of home? Bunny burger. Can I take a couple home? Did you hear him? How about a nice hand for my little bunny rabbit friend here? Hey, bunny. An offer the real life Godfather can't refuse. Next on Spy TV Pranks.